going on a road trip. I'm gonna leave tomorrow morning. I'm starting to pack up some of my gear. Now my wife went out of town. I just took her to the airport, got back a few minutes ago, and she's back in Georgia. She's visiting family and stuff. And I thought, well, I can take a little trip on my own. So I'm driving Georgie for her first road trip. So we'll be driving down to Denver to visit a friend of mine, TJ. So I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff that I'm packing up. So I live in Montana and there's mountains all around. I'm gonna be driving like where it's big sky country, right? People come here just for the scenery. So I'm driving through uh, like a few hours in Montana and then I'm gonna drive through all of Wyoming and then into the you know Northern Colorado and then head down to the Denver, like sort of general metropolitan area. And yeah, the scenery is really nice. So I'm looking forward to, you know, getting some inside shots where I'm driving, of course, but then I'm gonna probably do some time-lapse like in the car, just because it's a cool drive around here. So this is kind of the stuff that I'm working with. Additionally, I'm gonna bring like my laptop, I'm gonna bring my notebook, probably a couple books to read, as well as my Kindle. So I'm gonna pack up, get a lot of stuff ready to night and then hopefully head out early tomorrow morning. It's about 720 miles uh, from door to door roughly. So I need to make sure I get on the road fairly early. I don't have a strict deadline, but like the sooner I get there, the sooner I get to see my friends and, and settle down and everything. So I'm gonna keep packing up here. And if you have questions about the gear, if you want like a deeper dive on certain things, it is actually on my list to like show you some of the like other lenses that I have and some of the other gear that I have in general. You ready, Georgie? Are you ready? You ready to get out of here? Okay, we're about to start the 720 mile trip. I got uh, a little stressed out because I was like, oh, I'm not gonna leave at seven, but then I realized it's my own artificial deadline. So I took Georgie for a longer walk. She actually found a football, which was super exciting. So we're hopping on the road, I'm gonna gas up and then uh, it's super easy to get there. I think there are like two highways to get on in a couple turns, very straightforward. So we're getting started, it's about 7.45. Georgie and I have been on the road here for about seven hours. We've stopped multiple times. We're here in Douglas, Wyoming. It looks like we only have about three more hours left. And I'm gonna probably walk Georgie a little bit more here because uh, it's warmer. It's like 58 or so. It's a little breezy, but it looks like there's a couple like uh, large lots that I could walk her in. Uh, it looks like there's like a convention center. So I'll probably just walk around that building and, and chill out there for a minute. Also, it's bright. It's gonna get, it'll be dark by the time I get to the Denver area. So yeah, we're just uh, taking a little break here, stretching the legs, and the drive's going well so far. Georgie's, she's been doing that whether I'm driving or we're just sitting still like this, and then sometimes she'll hop in the back. She hasn't taken a nap, so normally during the day she'd take a nap a couple of times, but she hasn't taken a nap, and uh, I think she's gonna be really tired later. She's gonna be really tired later. We made it, I think it's like eight o'clock or so. Georgie is really happy to be out of the car. I think she's happier than I am to be out of the car. Uh, my buddy TJ is putting his kids to bed, so we've just been walking around out here. And actually, we kind of needed it because Georgie didn't get as many walks today. I think normally we, we walk like maybe six to eight, nine miles a day. And today she didn't get anything close to that, maybe just a couple miles. So she's very, very interested in walking. All right, I'm gonna get some sleep, visit some, and then uh, we'll check in tomorrow. What you doing, Georgie? What you doing, girl? All right, it's the next morning, and uh, it's beautiful weather here. It's like, I think it must be close to 60 degrees right now, and it's just sunny, really nice weather. There's a nice yard. It's a pretty, is 
exercise yard around here. So Georgie and I were throwing the tennis ball earlier. She had a great time, got a lot more exercise today so far. And we're also gonna go for a hike later, so looking forward to that. And in just a little while, I'm doing a live stream actually. So I'm sort of uh, just hanging out, and I think I may do it outside since it's so nice. Maybe be able to do a live stream out here. There's a picnic table sort of uh, down on the ground level over there. So yeah, we're just hanging out. It's nice here in uh, Denver. Outside and see what TJ is up to. Georgie and I are gonna walk out here. Crazy, I think still like 36 degrees on the inside. Oh, yeah? yeah? So, what do we got going on here, TJ? You got a little brisket in there. Oh, yeah? 12 pound brisket. Beautiful. The brisket. sun came back out. It's yeah, kind of nice. It's nicer there. now than it was at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, what kind of temple are we rocking? 250? Well, it's not quite there yet. What is it at now? 192? No, that's 1920. 195. So it's got okay. a, it's had an open nose, putting in the, okay. putting cool, in the cool. thermometer. Oh, 34, it says 35. Sweet. And then, see, and this is how this baby works. So it's all smooth. Oh, wow. See, like, oh, wow, look at that. Well, that's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, and then you can see huh. how it looks on me. Yeah, there's, well, there's no video on the back, but it must just be recording into yeah, yeah. it. That's okay. pretty awesome how it just, like, stabilizes yeah. itself, though. Yep, right? you know and what you I mean? can, huh. That's it's just sweet. like all those uh, commercials you see. Like you what, is really it, what is it called? A, a gimbal. Sort of, a gimbal. Oh, okay. This is called a gimbal, yeah. Fun. And we have the Saison. I feel like we should kind of go with the um, double IPA. Double IPA. The Triceratops yeah. double. And then we can go to some uh, Saisons. That sounds good to me. We just got back from a hike. We checked out a place called Mount Falcon. I met up with my friend Ravi, who uh, he's actually been on the YouTube channel before and he does executive coaching and I'll, I'll link him up in the description as well. It was good to go on the hike. The weather was kind of perfect right now. It's a bit overcast. It's a little cool, a little windy and it was like beautiful on the hike. I think it was, it was a little bit cooler than yesterday. I think the temps were probably in the like mid 40s or maybe 50 or so but the sun was bright the sun in colorado seems to be warm here we're at a higher elevation and yeah it just it feels warm in the sun but the cool thing is we got to a certain point and we got some snow flurries so it was like sunny fairly warm you know we're hiking so we're a little bit our bodies are heated up and everything and um started uh snowing just a little bit and georgie had a great time out there she still wants to play fetch right now. But it was a good day overall. Then after that, we went to like a liquor store and bottle shop so I could check out some of the, the beers. And they had a nice, uh, they called it the bomber room where they had just like one-off bottles, you know, the bomber size is the 22 ounce, but they had all sorts of just single bottles in the cellar area. So it was cool to go in there. I'm probably gonna go back tomorrow and get a lot of stuff to bring back home to Bozeman. So good day overall. And um, we're just kind of taking a break. We're gonna throw some meat on the smoker. TJ got a brisket for us. We're gonna make a brisket, put it on overnight, let it smoke for 15, 16, 17 hours or so, and then have it for brunch tomorrow. So we're really looking forward to that. And I think we're just, in for the night we're just chilling out for the night we're gonna hang out maybe play some board games have some of the beers that we picked up it should be fun looking forward to it Super nice day here in Denver and well Georgie and I are looking for the ball but we're gonna have some brunch TJ and I have been uh, smoking a brisket overnight for about uh, 15 hours something like that we're gonna have some biscuits and grits to go along with the brisket and Georgie is confused Georgie come on come on we got to find the ball it's out here somewhere and this you know piece of land here 
I think it's a couple acres, um, so there's plenty of space to throw the ball. And I kept hitting the tree with the ball. Georgie isn't the greatest, greatest like tracker. She could smell it well, but visually she, she actually went after a pine cone that fell out of the tree when I hit it with the ball. So anyway, she's confused because the ball is lost and I need her help. Georgie, come on, let's find the ball. So we successfully found the ball and then we played fetch. It was great and I think we're ready for some breakfast. All right, we have a few pretty straightforward things. So this is my Gorilla Pod. I've had it for a few years even before I was like doing any sort of YouTube or vlogging or anything like that. It's always handy. I don't know if I beat mine up more than other people or something, but I find that they are like less durable than I guess what I hear other people talk about. But anyway, uh, nevertheless, it's, it's quite useful and I, I do use it. I have the little level on there. I'm notoriously bad at taking level shots. So that's very helpful. This is my memory card storage area so I didn't have one of these for a while and I don't have that many memory cards but I have a few and it's good to not have them loose in my camera bag so I have this and it's just you know cost just a few bucks it's like aluminum case and I, you know I don't beat things up really too much anyway a couple other straightforward things so extra batteries and I'll show you the camera gear and stuff that I'm going to be rocking. But this here it, it are two extra batteries for the camera I'm using, which is the Canon T7i. So I got a couple extra battery packs that were, I think they were only like 15 bucks for two plus a charger. And then I have these batteries for my Yi 4K action cam, which I re recently got. So I'll be bringing these things as well. So chargers, those are straightforward. An extra, you know, little charger situation here with a cable so I could charge these guys up. I'm gonna bring headphones. So I'm gonna do a live stream. I don't have my laptop out here, but I'll show you that momentarily along with a backpack that I use but I'm bringing the headset so that I could do the live stream, make sure I have good audio, or at least try to have good audio. We do what we can. And this is uh, my 24 millimeter lens here. So this is the Canon 24 2.8, and it's one of my favorite lenses. I'm gonna switch over to it in a second so that I can show you the wide angle zoom that I'm using, but this lens right here, this is why a lot of people are you know, asking me what lens are you using? What camera are you using? It's the lens. And this lens is only like 150 bucks. So super small, super light. It's one of my favorites. So now I'm showing you stuff that was in the uh, cases. So this is a light and this is one of my primary lights. Um, I think it's a newer like N-E-E-W-E-R. I don't know how many lights are there. I think there's like 160 LEDs. It comes with this battery pack here and the charger. And the cool part is you can, you know, put this on top of a DSLR or a, a tripod. So I use this thing all the time just to give a little more light. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be like doing a lot of videoing or anything, but just having this light is fantastic and it's small enough and I have plenty of space so it's easy enough for me to bring and it comes with this nice carrying case. I think it only costs like 30 bucks or so. Next, I'm, I did mention the, the other lens that I have. So this here is the Canon. Uh, this is a 10 to 18 millimeter and it has it's the IS version, so it's image stabilization. I got this lens as well as the one I showed you before, the 24, when I started uh, traveling a little bit more. When my wife and I first visited Montana, I wanted to get this ultra like wide angle lens for landscapes and stuff like that. Turns out it is a great vlogging lens because it's wide. Now, a lot of the, you know, the Canon cameras, especially this sort of consumer grade, they don't have a full frame sensor. 
so you lose some of the wide angle. So you multiply it by 1.6. So that means this is like a 16 to like a 30 whatever. So it's hard to do math in your head fast. But anyway, this is a great lens and it does have the image stabilization and it is great for vlogging. And whenever you see sort of the wider angle shots, I'm using this lens here. Now the downside on this is it doesn't work as well in low light. So it's a f4.5 to 5.6. So whereas the 24 2.8 can go really well in low light. And in fact, you could see this, you know, I'm using the 24 2.8 right now. See how the background's blurry? You can't do that with this wide angle lens. You lose some of that, I guess, bokeh is what they call it. It's a blurry background. So anyway, I'm bringing this lens as well. I have um, a couple other lenses, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. Now, this is the new camera that I got here. It's the Yi 4K action camera. This was a, a kit as well. And you can see it has a nice carrying case. I didn't even know it was gonna come with a carrying case, but I have here, the selfie stick, which is nice. So there's a selfie stick. There's a, you know, a charger for uh, some batteries, which go in this gimbal. So actually I got the gimbal kit. So you can hold, you can mount this gimbal on the selfie stick and it keeps the camera level. It's freaking amazing. I've taken some shots of uh, my dog Georgie running around and it really works while it's off right now course because I'm not, not using it but it's really pretty amazing and I've never used anything like it for a vlog sometimes the I guess movement is okay but nobody wants to watch like a bunch of like shaky footage the camera itself is quite small I mean it fits in the palm of my hand I've never had a GoPro or anything like that but this Yi 4k is a fraction of the price and from what I can tell, the quality is uh, comparable. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get the accessory kit real quick just to show you um, some of the stuff I'll be working with. So I got this whole accessory kit and there's a ton of stuff. There's like 20 things in there. There's like a waterproof housing in there. A couple things that I have used already, this is like a harness, so you can just wear the, the camera like on your chest, you know, like a little tripod mount on the bottom, and it works great. I mean, this whole accessory kit was only like 20 bucks, I think, and I looked at a couple of GoPro items and just single items for the GoPro were like 20, 40, like quite expensive. So I got this full accessory kit for way less. And this is a suction cup mount. So I'm gonna mount this inside the car and then I could just put the camera on here and get a wide angle from within the car so that you could see Georgie and I in the car while we're driving. So the other part is the scenery that I'm gonna be driving through is probably gonna be pretty amazing. All right, we are uh, heading out. It's about 7 a.m. on Monday morning and uh, Georgie and I are heading back to Montana. We had a good trip overall and we're ready for a, another long day of driving. So it looks like it, it's really actually super clear and nice where we're at currently. And um, I think the weather should hold up pretty good all day. Fingers crossed. Georgie and I just made our last stop. We're a little bit past Billings, Montana, and we're at a rest stop. It's actually, it's a pretty nice one. I, I remember stopping here when it was under construction and it was a total mess, but it's pretty nice and brand new. And we're currently the only people here. So we're, we are kind of uh, getting towards the middle of nowhere in between uh, the cities. So this is our last stop. We should be home in hopefully like an hour and a half or two hours or so, depending on how fast I drive basically. So looking forward to getting back, sleeping in my own bed, definitely getting a little bit tired on this leg of the trip. And unfortunately I'll be driving directly into the sun. So it's actually a little challenging to drive with that uh, sun shining right in my face. So I'm driving like directly west, but 
something I'll have to deal with and it should be all right, but we'll be home shortly. I'm back from Denver now. It is the next day and boy, it was sure good to get back home. I mean, I was only gone for about four days, but just traveling, especially with the, the driving. So it was really like two full days of driving and that, I mean, that takes it out of you a little bit. Georgie did a great job and I think she's really glad to be home too. Here are a couple notes about the trip overall. Had a good time catching up with uh, my friend Shay and TJ, and their two kids. It was great just to hang out at their house. So this was one of the occasions, one of the rare occasions where we didn't go out to eat at all. We didn't go to a brewery. There are tons of breweries around, but instead we went to just like a nice bottle shop and we got what we wanted. And then we were able to, you know, number one, enjoy just TJ's house and like the nice deck. You saw us out there a couple times. Um, he has a nice deck with a really nice view. So we were able to go out there and have breakfast and just hang out on his porch which was great. The other thing is we actually went hiking like three days in a row. Now some of the hikes were uh, not huge. It was just like going to a park close by, walking around with um, his kids and stuff, but still just the fact that the weather was good and it was nice and sunny, blue skies. It was fun to just go out and hang with my friends. Right now, Got some laundry going, still sort of like catching up. And I got some cleaning to do before my wife gets home. So trying to catch up on the laundry, probably hit the grocery store and replenish all the food. So yeah, it was a good trip overall. It wasn't even that long of one, but it's always good to get home, get back into the normal routine. It was a good trip.